Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here's your say again, Merry Christmas. And we know this time of year is a time of love and giving and fellowship and warmth. And it just has an atmosphere of, of oneness that no other holiday has. You notice that, don't you? Well, the thing about this love, you know God is love. I know you know that. And you know, however God is, so is Jesus Christ. He is the one coming on the scene at this time. That's what we commemorate. But you know what? When Jesus came, he came to die for us. He didn't come to... Uh, he didn't come to make a name for himself. He came to make a name for you and me. He came to make a life for you and me. He came so that, he came to die so that you and I might live. And I just say, go back and read the scriptures and read what Jesus did, how he sacrificed himself. He knew from the time he was a child that things were going to be rough for him. That he was not here to get married and raise a family and live his life. No. He knew that he was the sacrificial lamb for us. He just didn't know how grievous it was going to be until God showed him in the Garden of Gethsemane. So, understand, remember the kind of love Ask God to reveal himself to you. Ask God to show you the kind of Savior Jesus really is. You wonder why so many of us born-again Christians love him so much. There's a touch. When he comes into your heart and he touches your life, he begins to change your mindset. He begins to get that old poison out from years of hurt, from years of mistreatment, abuse, being played, whatever. He comes to heal, not only to save, but to heal. And when he heals, he doesn't only heal bodies. He heals our souls, our emotions, our psyche. He heals us through and through. And I just ask you to think on him during these holidays and think about getting to know who he really is or as a better way of saying it, getting to know him as he really is or for who he really is because there is such beauty. It's not about walking with Christ. It's not about do this, don't do that, do this, don't do that, do this, don't do that. When God fills you with the Holy Spirit, it's automatic. You start changing inside. Your nature changes. Okay, here's an example. For some of you who think that the straight and narrow is a horrible existence because you want to do what you want to do. When God recreates you, so to speak, it's like taking car parts and creating a beautiful piece of machinery that nobody's seen before. It doesn't look like it did when all the parts were together before. This is, this is a whole new design, a whole new color, a whole new look, whole new shine, everything. And that car was created to ride. It was created to transport one from one place to another. However, even though that's what it was created to do, it can't do it until someone puts gas in the car, until all the fluids have been put into the car, the water levels, the oil levels, everything, and the power has been charged up in that battery that also has to be in the car. All the components have to come together for you to be able to stick that key in the ignition, turn it, 
or push the button, whatever you want to say. You have to do something to get that car going. Well, with God and all his wisdom and understanding knows everything he has to do to get us going. We have been moonwalking through our lives, treading water, chasing our own tails. And you know what? Through all the years of hitting and missing, God still knows what is needed to put us back together again and take us and make something beautiful out of our lives there's a, 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 a scripture that says create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me that's what God does he does it daily but it starts with salvation I ask you, give your heart to this beautiful Lord and Savior. His name is Jesus Christ. He came into this world to die for you and me so that we might have life and that more abundantly. He gives us his peace, his love, inner strength, a new beginning, a fresh start, a clean slate. Nobody out there gives you a clean slate. God gives you a clean slate. But you have to ask for it. Ask God for forgiveness. Ask him for mercy. Say, Lord, would you, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit and give you a whole new start and enjoy your new journey. Merry Christmas. <music>